In this video, I introduce my IV regression command. Um, it's got rather simple syntax, and it does everything that the Stata IV regress two-stage least squares options does. So you can instrument for one endogenous variable, um, and this command will produce F tests for relevance. It will do over-identifying tests if you have more than one um, more than one instrument, and it will produce first and second stage output, and it will produce the output kind of on demand. Uh, there's some data, uh, that are some synthetic data that I have uh, on market shares, and it, we're going to store it in a data frame called mkt.df. What we'll need to do is we'll need to run, uh, load the library car. If you don't have this, use the install.packages command on uh, to install the car library and make sure that it's all set up. Once you have that, this command will work just fine. You run library car. I've already run this in some previous iterations of, uh, sort of making sure everything works. So uh, you might see a few extra lines of uh, saying that it's loading other supplemental helper packages as well. So now to the syntax. What, how you use the IV regress command is very similar to how you'd use, say, the LM command, except for, as we know with IV regressions, there are two stages. There's the first stage where we uh, take our endogenous variable and predict it as a function of the instruments. And there's the second stage where the endogenous variable and some of the other exogenous variables are used as predictors. So my IV regress command has the syntax that you use the second stage first. You specify that as in a formula statement. You have your response variable, and you have any variables that are predictors. Then you put a comma, and you specify a formula for the second stage. In this formula, you just use sort of what looks like a dependent variable, but what you're saying is this variable is endogenous. And then you just put the instruments that you didn't have in, uh, in, this, uh, in the second stage as, as predictors. So you put your excluded instruments. And that's all you have to do to specify sort of everything. The IV regress command takes care of everything, uh, make sure it runs the appropriate first stage. Um, and uh, these are going to be, uh, as, you, as you would have in an LM command, these are going to be variable names at, that you would use um, from this data frame. That, and you need to tell, of course, just like, just like LM, you need to tell my IV regress command which data frame you're going to be using. Now, in the R script that I have out there, um, we have the sum uh, IV command. This works just like the summary command, and it will allow you to display output once you've defined your IV regress command. So let's go ahead and run the uh, IV regress command to create our IV object. We run this, and I've sort of programmed it to tell us that you've got uh, an IV object that was successfully created. It tells us go ahead and use that sum IV uh, uh, function to create or to learn about our, our two stage least squares. So we go and run that, and what kind of output does it give us? Well, it looks like it gives us the second stage. We've got our estimates, we've got our standard errors. But the uh, standard errors are adjusted appropriately here, and they match perfectly with what Stata would produce. So, but what if we wanted to know what the first stage was? In Stata, you might uh, get this by saying comma first when you can run your IV regress command. In R, using my command, all you need to do when you, when you summarize your IV regress object is to say first equals true. Let's go ahead and run this, and we'll see what happens. So we get our second stage here. See that there? That's our second stage. But as you can see, we also get our first stage. And what you see is, as is correct to do when you run an IV regression, excuse me, our first stage uses all of the exogenous variables in the model. The exogenous variables in the second stage that actually we're thinking of as predicting Y, but also the exogenous variables that are our instruments for the endogenous variable in this case, which is price, or how we're thinking about it. Well, what if you wanted to test for relevance? In Stata, the, the test for relevance, you'd, after you run your IV regress command, you'd say estat first, and that'll give you an F test for relevance. In this command, it's, it's part of the IV regress object, and to just specify the right uh, summary or the right option in the sum IV, that will give you um, 
that, that will give you your F test. It, you just use F test equals true. So if you want your F test equal true, uh, here's going to be your F test. You can see uh, we, we get an F statistic of 8.5068, and this is going to lead to a rejection of the null hypothesis that the set of instruments isn't relevant. The other bit of functionality you might be interested in is producing an over-identifying test. Stata produces two if you use the estat over id command in the post estimation of IB regress. Well, what do you want? What if you want to do the same thing in R? Well, using my command, just use uh, in the sum IV. You, spec you specify the option in my sum IV command to be over id equal to true, and you can go ahead and run this. And what you'll get is you'll get the Sargans test, and you'll get. Uh, what I call the J test. Um, these are going to be numerically equivalent. I can do them the exact same way, the same underlying formulas that you'd find in, say, a Woldridge textbook. So, as you can see, the, this, uh, this type of output is really nice, really straightforward. What if you wanted, um, I mean, you don't need to do all of this all at once or all in separate steps like you do in Stata. You, you could run over ID equal true, first equal true, F test equal true, and you will be able to produce all of the output you would ever want. And it basically spits everything out there. So there's your first stage, there's your second stage, there's the F test, and there are the over identifying tests. So uh, if, if you're looking for an advantage of my function over maybe some of the other functions, you can do it all in one fell swoop, run one command to run your IV regression, make sure you specify first and second stages appropriately, and then run another command to summarize it, and you can specify which options that you'd be interested in seeing, especially uh, be especially useful if you're interested in the first stage, second stage, the F test, get all of that to spit out there. Um, sort of by default, I, I made the default that it just tells you the second stage, because those are the estimates that you're interested, most interested in anyway. Um, but hopefully this gives you a quick rundown of how to use my IV regress command, and hopefully you'll find it useful.